is Treasure Chest. I'm doing my semi-weekly vlog. I don't know. These just kind of end up happening wherever the fuck I have time for it. Um, I'm doing one that I said I wouldn't do, and I'm actually doing a makeup one. I know, it's shocking. Uh, it's not going to be anything super fancy, but I was just having a conversation the other day uh, with my boyfriend about... Why don't you do more pinup makeup when we go out? And I'm like, do you have any idea how fucking long it takes? So, we're gonna go over basic pinup makeup. And if your girl ever comes out looking all pinup before you, you better damn well appreciate it, because it's a pain in the ass and takes forever. Anyway, I actually, this is the other thing I was gonna tell you guys too. I have two makeup bags because one, this contains the shit I use most often, like my everyday stuff. This is all my other fucking stuff that I use for modeling, so you can tell there's a ton of shit in here. And then I also have this, which is more eyeshadow. So, yeah, a lot of stuff goes into this. Anyway, so, how we start off is we take our fancy little concealer. Because my skin hates me right now. And my chin's breaking out like teenager. So, we gotta cover that shit up. And the other spots that get really red, like top of my nose, cover that up. Didn't sleep well, got baggies, cover that shit up. Everything has to look all nice when you're going pinup because, you know, pinups are all pretty and perfect and all that, whatever. But, um, anyway. So, I do have my one cheater step, and that. I use the Cream to Powder Foundation from Mary Kay, and this saves me a shit ton of time because I don't have to do foundation and then powder over it because it just dries into that fucker. So, this is actually going to be like an extremely abbreviated version. This would just be like if I'm just going out in town and it's nighttime and it's dark, so no one's really going to be seeing my makeup that close anyway, but for some reason I feel like looking cute. Um, if I was actually doing this for a shoot, this would take me at least half an hour just for a basic simple pinup shoot that I do all the fucking time the makeup for and that's just because I have practice. If this was for like the shoot I'm doing this weekend um, where I'm actually having crazy makeup it was going to take me probably over an hour to get that shit done. So, this is just kind of a reminder to all Anyone out there wants to know why it takes girls for fucking ever to get ready, this is why. So, I've already also taken a shower, which is another at least 20 minutes because I have to shave more than just my face. When you have a face, you have this much area to shave, that's it. That's assuming you're not growing a beard and are actually shaving. When you're a girl, you got your underarms, you have about six feet combined of leg, and your lady bits. And that takes time. Because you don't want to cut anything in those areas. It's, it's not fun. So, foundation is on. Oh yeah, also did my hair. Have to blow dry it and straighten it out, which is another like 40 minutes because it's a pain in the ass. So, uh, now that we have that done, I'm gonna do the cheater way for my eyes. I'm not gonna actually do the liquid because that takes like 20 minutes just to set and dry so it doesn't smear all over your fucking eye. But this is a good little tip though, if you're doing liquid eyeliner, is outline it with your pencil first because it's a lot easier to wipe off pencil than it is to deal with the liquid. So if you fuck it up and need to redraw your cat eyes, it's way easier to do it with the pencil. So the way I get mine even is I line it up with the tip of my nose to the corner of my eye and then I go to the end of my eye socket bone. So I go to here and I draw a line. So this is the start of my little wing. And then I take from the tip of the wing to like the middle-ish of my eye here, so like this area, and you just do a connect the dots. Boom! Look! I have a wing now. And you can tell, just by shutting my eye, it smears the fuck out of it. This is why if you ever date a girl who does cat eyes, you better damn well appreciate the effort she put into this. So now, if we were doing it with liner, um, like the, the liquid liner, like you're supposed to, to make it look nice and all that whatever, but I'm cheating and not doing. Um, we wouldn't color it in with the pencil, we would just color it in with the liner. And then, so now that your wing is colored in, it looks stupid if you don't have this part done, so you just bring that down 
to the tip of your eye. For me, it's a little easier to go from the corner of my eye out because for some reason my hands work better that way. So, now I have this nice pretty little wing. We need to set it or else it's going to smear the fuck all over my face. So you take a little bit of black eyeshadow and a little teeny tiny brush and you get your your black eyeshadow on here and you just go over the top of your wing and that will help fill in any gaps and also help it smear less especially if you did it properly and actually have um, liquid on it. So now we gotta do the same on the other side and this is the part that gets to be a bitch because now you gotta make them even. So we go to the other side, do the same thing and do the little line and do the other little line. I don't know why I'm using the tiny fucking mirror right now but whatever. And then we color it in and people are actually surprised I can do this this fast now but I will let you know, this is because I've had a ton of practice doing it over the last year. I used to suck royally at doing cat eye makeup because, well, it's a bitch. So there. Now I have that wing done, I gotta set it, and they're crooked, because you can tell one's higher than the other, but I'm not gonna worry about it right now because it's close enough. So we gotta set that one. If you were using falsies for your eyelashes, now would be the time to apply them. But I quite frankly hate putting those on. So I'm not going to do it right now. But I will give you one little um, tip. Rather than using eyelash glue, get this shit. It's um, hair extension glue. And there's two advantages of this. Especially if you're doing like black eyeliner. Um, this stuff dries black. It doesn't dry white like the eyelash glue does, so it's just going to blend in. Nobody's going to know. Um, the other reason is this stuff holds for, like, fucking days. Like, you could sleep in your eyelashes with this shit on. Um, and it's, like, super cheap, too. This bottle, I think, was, like, three bucks at Sally's, and... I've only used like this much of it since I bought it because you only need such a tiny amount. So this $3 bottle is going to last you forever and work way better. Uh, one of my friends told me about that as a tip and I love her for it because it's amazing. So, uh, we have that done. If we were putting on eyelashes, we would do that. Since we're not, we're putting on mascara. Um, when I'm doing traditional classic pinup, I do not do my waterline um, because if you look at pinups from like the 50s, they don't have anything on the bottom of their eyes. There's no eyeliner, um, there's no mascara, there's no thing. I still do mascara just because if I don't, like my bottom lashes here just totally disappear. But I don't do it as heavy as I would if I was doing. Um, just like everyday stuff, I just put uh, a little bit on there so it's covered and it's good to go. And I'm putting this stuff back in the wrong bag. I personally don't like blush very much, so I use this stuff instead. It's just like um, an illuminator. So you just put, I use my fingers for it, some people use brushes, whatever. So you just put a little bit and you smile and you do it along your your uh, cheekbone where you smile and it kind of just like brings a little bit of light into that area um, once you blend it in right. That's why I like using my fingers because I'm just going to have to blend it anyway. So it just kind of hits like the top of your cheeks a little, gives them a little bit of a lightness and then um, I don't know, it just makes them look better for some reason. I don't know why. I don't question it. It's magic. Whatever. That's the reason. Um, if I'm doing a photo shoot too, I will color in my eyebrows because if I'm looking just like in person with somebody, my eyebrows look fine, but when I do a photo shoot for whatever reason, they just disappear unless I color them in. So in theory, I would color them in now also if I was doing a photo shoot. So now we're going to do lips. Uh, you want your nice red because pinups are red. Uh, 
if you can get the ones that have the nice like point like that, it makes it way easier. So you just want to line, if you have lip liner also too, it's even better, but I don't for this color, which I should probably get because I'm going to be using this one a lot more because it's like my new favorite. But that's why if you have one with a point you can cheat and do it without the lip liner. kind of turned into more of a how to cheat your makeup than actually like do it proper but you know hey if it works in the end you get the same results who gives a fuck so now that that's on and do our lip gloss I have this cool like strawberry flavored one that I've been using lately that quite yummy makes your lips a little tingly too so it makes them a little bit fuller And that's good because I have a nice full bottom lip, but uh, I have to cheat on my top lip because it tends to wash out if I don't do makeup on it to the straight. And so a trick that, again, a lot of girls are going to know this, guys probably don't realize it, that gets all the lipstick off that would have been on your teeth. So this is a very simple, quick pinup. Um, if, like I said, if I was doing a photo shoot, I would have gone back over, done liquid, I would have spent a lot more time on getting my foundation even, I would have colored in my eyebrows, high chance I would have put on falsies, um, so you can see why this gets quite time consuming. Also, you can see why if your girl's doing cat eyes, and they still get fucked up like this, she's gonna be fixing them all fucking night long. So... If she does this for you, she really loves you because it's a pain in the ass to do. So, <laughs> that's my advice for today. Never ask your girl with cat eyes why she's late. <laughs>